Welcome back. 839 former A&M football star Johnny Manziel says he's ready to play football again and he has an NFL team in mind that he'd like to play for. TMC's Casey Carver is in LA and joins us this morning. Oh, Casey, this is not what many Dallas Cowboys fans want to hear. No, no, it's not. And we actually spoke with Dan Reeves, an NFL legend, and asked him about it. And he said he'd love to see Menzel at the Dallas Cowboys. He says the troubled quarterback deserves another shot. Oh. Um, he says if he yeah, can walk the walk and talk the talk um, and play like he did in college, he would be an asset for the Cowboys. But here's the deal. We caught up with Menzel in Hollywood on Friday, yet again leaving another club. So I'm not sure if he's ready to walk the walk and talk the talk quite yet. Yeah, he said he planned to get sober. Plan says he wants to return to the NFL. I know he posted it like on Instagram, on social media. I know if he did return, he'd, he'd face a suspension. It's interesting because I posted this as soon as I found out you and I were going to be talking about this. I put it on social media about 20 minutes ago. And oh my goodness, I have so many responses from viewers like Linda McKinnon, absolutely not. The Cowboys have enough trouble right now. Uh, Deanna Irwin true. says, go ahead, add him to the suspended list because we've got so many Cowboys players already on our suspension list. But I can't even find anyone on this, uh, everyone who's commented on my Facebook page, I can't even find anyone who thinks that this is a good idea. No, I agree with you. And most of the coverage we do on him is, you know, the fight he got in a couple weeks ago at his friend's what? wedding. He's always leaving clubs and bars here in Hollywood. So it seems that, you know, he's still not trying to get back on that straight and narrow and absolutely focus on football. Seems like he's still trying to live that fun life that he, you know, he thinks he has as well. Yeah, he was suspended for violating substance policy from his uh, former NFL team. So, well, we let go. So we'll. We'll see what happens. Oh, Jerry Jones. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm interested to see what, what he thinks about it. Uh, let's talk about another. I'm very curious yeah, to see. I know. Let, let's talk about this other story. This uh, a pet tiger. So Tyga, the rapper, owned a pet tiger. <laughs> and, um, but, but it's now at a sanctuary, and apparently it is costing this sanctuary like a ton of money to keep this thing. Yes, so Tyga was not a good tiger dad. He illegally owned this exotic pet. Oh. In fact, he was uh, facing criminal charges for having this pet at his house. He surrendered, or, surrendered it to a, a lions, a tigers, and bear, a sanctu bear as a sanctuary here. Um, apparently, it costs about $10,000 a year to feed alone this 500 pound uh, tiger. Wow. And that does not include all his vet costs, the maintenance, um, everything else that goes on with it. But here's the thing Tyga surrendered it and walked away. He's never thanked the sanctuary. He's never even offered to make any donations. He just washed his hands clean of this tiger, or tiger, and um, tiger washed his hands clean of this tiger and uh, walked away and now really? just handed it over to the sanctuary who is, you know, they are dependent on donations and they're now hmm. taking care of this animal. Sounds like he needs to pony up some cash, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for the updates, Casey. Thank you. You can see TMZ weeknights at 11 p.m. weekdays, 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. You can also find a link to the show's website at fox4news.com. It's 842. You can